So as the year wraps up for 2022, I think back to some of the biggest lessons that I've had uh, running my business and, uh, well, other businesses I run as well. And I think back to how valuable being in a mastermind group has been. And uh, every every fortnight, every two weeks we show up and it's just incredible. Honestly, I feel like I should pay $1,000 every time I go because the value is so good. And partly that's because it's not just me thinking about the lessons I'm learning, but my group's got five people in it and so we're all sharing the biggest lessons so you get five times the growth five times the you know tough lessons and um, mistakes and experience you learn from five times the amount of uh, trial experiments that work or don't work and five times the professional development resources that people are exploring and sharing it's just awesome and so I want to share a video clip with you that is going to be super valuable basically in our BAM squad group uh, we asked people to share what was one of the biggest lessons from the year and so I've uh, cut, a, cut a bit of that clip for you to show you and so each lesson itself comes from big experience um, you know trials challenges creative new ideas through 2022 and they're going to share these with you now and uh, you you get to lap up their experience and take these skills and ideas and lessons into 2023 to make sure it's your best year ever so i'll play that clip now but if you ever want to join us in the bam squad click the link down below grab a free seven day trial come see what all the fuss is about and uh, you could be part of this amazing community next year so uh, check it out and enjoy this clip a big business lesson that i have learned in 2022 is a lesson that i have learned since i've become a bam squad member and that is how to put together small performing groups to go and perform throughout the community. And these groups also help with recruiting new students. It has to be groups, absolutely groups. Completely transform the way we teach. Um, it increased engagement of our students and it created so much space for growth. And so I'm excited about um, the fact that we are now running groups and looking forward to welcoming a lot more children uh, into our studio because of the room we've been able to create in our schedules from running groups. So yeah, that's been huge for us. One thing I've learned is that it's okay to let people go who are not your client. And I've had to learn that through being challenged from people who say, they don't want to pay with card, they only want to pay with check, or they don't like my policies around, whatever it is. And that I'm okay with saying, hey, maybe we're not the school for you. And I recommend other schools for them. And that's not something that I've done before. And that was something that felt um, like I wanted to try to accommodate people as much as I could and try to get the student because I was trying to get as many people as I could. But now I'm enforcing my policies and if they don't want to accept it before they even started, then I'm okay with letting them go and I encourage them to go. And that's been a really big um, lesson this year and a new paradigm for myself. The biggest business lesson I've learned in 2022, and uh, I've known it from before, but um, turnover is costly. I lost a couple of, uh, couple of teachers and yeah, it's, uh, it's taken some time to, to replace them with good people. So uh, that slows us down. Anyway, that's the lesson that I learned this year. A business lesson that I learned in 2022 is that expensive mistakes don't have to be your downfall. <laughs> I made a huge expensive mistake and invested in a, CR, uh, a CRM that was like way too much money, thousands of dollars. We used it for two months, but it wasn't the end of the world. We changed, we pivoted, and we figured out what would work better. So one lesson that I've learned this year is to not take it personally when students um, leave or stop and just to realize that that's part of it and unless they're going to go on and be a uh, life um go to college to study music they probably will stop some time and that it doesn't we just want to make sure it ends well we actually do do like um a little celebration and have a gift bag and have a little card that the teacher sign when somebody's going to be stopping lessons and just tell them that they're always welcome if they'd like to come back and just realize that as long as you're 
recruiting new students and having new students who are interested in our studio that it's okay if people leave and not to take it personally. Say my biggest lesson was uh, learning to stick to fundamentals. So uh, not chasing the shiny objects and the new things, but uh, getting stuck into the basics and uh, discovering there's so much good stuff and important stuff and uh, powerful stuff you can do just with our core service and offering to deliver it better to our clients and our team, just to be doing things better. So leaning into the, the basics and leaning into the foundations and not getting distracted with the shiny objects. That was my lesson. Just managing money in general, learn, to not spend more than what you make. That'll lead me to losing money every month, recurring payments that uh, w would not be beneficial for my business. Not saying that it's, that, that Bam Squad is, is the one, but um, yeah, just other uh, recurring stuff that is just n not, uh, not needed for me that put me so much in a tight spot as something that uh that'll take time to fix i learned this year that it's really hard to find good admin staff um i think i have found someone who's going to work out well um watch this space well the main lesson i've learned this year was that i cannot do everything on my own i need a team a very strong team around me. So my teammates here are not just teammates, they are my friends, we are a family, we, uh, we have a strong team. Um, so that's it, never work alone. You need to have a very strong team around you to get your back. Maybe more money than, I, than I, you think you need. You know, like I think I need a certain amount or, I'll be good, but um, having more than that is better for stress management. So. I feel like I've learned a lot of lessons this year um, from both the financial point of the business and also um, my management style. Um, there's there's probably quite a lot, but the, the biggest takeaway I feel is just how I am as a leader, how I delegate and how I listen and reflect and just to try and make things better that um, my team know exactly what I expect of them. Big business lesson that I've learned this year and uh, I'm constantly learning actually, is that um, you have seasons of uh, being motivated and then seasons of not feeling as motivated. And then linked with that as well is also the fact that um, things don't happen overnight, like things that you want to implement and, and happen within your business doesn't happen just like that. And I'm quite an impatient person, so uh, I'm constantly learning that things take time. We have to have several steps for things to, to be put into place. Uh, and if it doesn't happen overnight, you need to just be patient, not get downhearted and just uh, keep plodding on and know that the motivation will, will refresh uh, sort of in peaks and troughs, so it's not always up, it's not always down, it just, it's a bit like that. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what I've learned this year. I think one of the biggest things that I've learned and that I'm still continuing to digest and really try to implement um, is that my business really is a separate, it's separate from me, it is not me. Um, so I'm really trying to now take that and, and build something that can continue on without me. Um, at some point. So I think that's the biggest thing that I've learned. Business lessons I've learned this year. The first one would be all about hiring and finding teachers. We were so lucky and took this for granted that in Toronto there were plenty of musicians who wanted to work with us and teach and use that as another source of income. So we had applicants all the time to choose from. And then after and during the pandemic, we, we that started to slow down. And, and this year primarily has been very tricky for that. So we're learning, we're still learning about this, but learning that the full application process, the whole experience working with us has to start there. And what we offer, it has to be better than the competition and um, really, that was a huge lesson this year and still learning, I'd say. Another thing I think I've learned is to not always say yes, even when I really, really want to. Sometimes you need more time. Sometimes you need to gather more resources. Um, it's okay to say no. What I learned this year is that I can 
never have enough teachers that I need to always hire. And these are things that I've heard throughout the years, but this is the first year that I actually experienced not having enough and all at, one, all at once. So definitely a lesson. I would say I'm still learning, but definitely to always have more than enough teachers. A big business lesson that I learned this year or continuing to practice and learn this year has been delegation. Uh, there's so many responsibilities now with Rock 101 being in our 12th year that uh, I've been adding some administrative positions to take on some big responsibilities, things that I've been doing for years. The result has been these things have a new flair and a new energy to them. Uh, we have a curriculum director now. We have a uh, an onboarding, uh, you know, administrator, our community outreach coordinator. Um, everything that I was doing myself uh, has now been kind of parsed out, and uh, it's been it's been awesome. It's allowed me to um, to have my hands in other projects and to to grow our school in ways that uh, were not possible when I was bogged down by the day to day tedious tasks. So. Um, yeah, excited to continue automation and in hiring positions to take responsibilities off my plate. I think the biggest lesson I learned in 2022 has got to be um, leading by numbers and leading by uh, specifically percentages. Uh, before we used to think through everything in a dollar amount. Uh, and now we have transitioned into thinking everything as a percentage. Um, and we're also doing a much better job of leading by the numbers because before what we would do is we would think through uh, everything and make emotional decisions and go, well, I think this happens a lot. Where now we are, uh, we are running a data-driven company where we can see how well things are doing with cold hard data and be able to then communicate that information to our team. The big thing I learned this year was to remain picky about hiring. Don't think that you're being too picky or unreasonable with the qualifications that you're looking for because as soon as you let one or two of those qualifications slip, you usually end up hiring someone that is not going to work out long term. So stick to your instincts and the qualifications that you really want. Change is always going to be, be a part of running a business constantly, whether it's teachers leaving, admin leaving, you know, having to reinvent policies and grow, there's always going to be change. And if you don't accept that and, and try and get through it, uh, it's, it's just going to be a stressful after stressful moment, uh, time and time again. And so I think really just embracing change and being okay with it and know that with change comes growth and you know that's really where you're getting outside of your comfort zone and i'm a big you know fan of that and and that's really just something that i'm continually reminded of with everything we've been through this past year uh just stay the course and continue uh believing in the process and your systems and your team and good things are going to come from those changes so uh, yeah, when you're feeling down and out, uh, just step back and know that everything's going to be okay and things will improve uh, with that that confidence in knowing that change is okay. To never give up. The moment you are tr you you are fed up with everything and think, oh, this is not going to happen anymore, and I probably have to quit my work, quit my school, quit everything I do. That moment is like a few steps away from a breakthrough being a few steps away from a breakthrough. So whenever you think I've had it, this is it, recognize it as a almost there for a breakthrough because that was happened with us. And um, uh, yeah, uh, stay in there, stay there, stay strong, plow through it. Um, in the end, it will be worth it. Students and parents are nowhere near as bothered by price increases and changes in payment uh, as I think as I thought they would be. Um, this year, I've grown my uh, student base a lot and I've put my prices up for the first time in, in, in a long time. And I'm just a, a solo, you know, single tutor studio at the moment. Um, and I've, for a long time, I've just been doing 
pay for the lesson on the day. I've done that for years and years. So this is the first year that I've uh, made people pay up front. Um, and I thought I'd get loads and loads of kickback um, with a price increase and the new the new way of paying all in all in one go. I thought I'd get loads and loads of parents complaining. Not one. Nobody was bothered. I was really worried about it. Everyone just went, okay. So that's that's a big lesson learned. It's not as big a deal as I made it out to be in my head. So a lesson that I've learned and something I'm practicing daily is patience. Um, we've been working on building a, expanding our school and just waiting for architects and engineers to get through the whole process and getting uh, <clears throat> zoning and codes and everything. It's it's just been a long, long process. And uh, we're, we're jumping through hoops and doing everything we need, but we uh, we're ready. We're ready to start. The biggest lesson I learned this year, it's a lesson that a lot of people mentioned last past BAM Squad Christmas party. And um, I didn't learn it on time. And it's hire slow, fire fast. Um, I think two things. The first being ask the question. Um, that was a, a, a big learning curve for me. It's okay to ask the question. Um, you don't know what you don't know. And when you're in an environment um, where you're surrounded by people that have been there, done that, um, have the knowledge and the skills and the expertise, ask the question. You'll never regret asking. There's no silly questions, especially in this environment. Um, and secondly, to get a clear picture of your financial situation as a business. Don't put it off. Um, it just takes that stress away when you actually know what it is that you're dealing with. Even if it's not a pretty picture, at least you have that picture and um, you can then take steps to um, change the landscape, basically. The lesson that I learned this year was that an office manager is absolutely necessary. We do have a fully staffed front desk team and recently we did lose our office manager and I tried to kind of disseminate her tasks between the ones that were still with us and take over some as well. But I learned really quick that an office manager is absolutely necessary so that your company continue, can continue to run um, without you having to be available all the time for questions that simply need to be talked out. Don't take advice from people who haven't done what you want to do. So for example, I paid for some coaching um, with an individual who ran a school up to 100 students and at that point it was a single teacher studio and at that point um, he shut down his school and focused more on the coaching business. I don't want to get to 100 students, I want to get to 500 students or 1000 students or 1500 students and, um, and not just with piano lessons, I'm currently just a piano studio and I'd like to, I want to do more, way more than that. So um, the coaching money that I spent, there was, it wasn't a complete waste, but it didn't move my business needle uh, to any degree that I wanted it to. So um, working with Johnny in a short time has been like, like I've made miles, miles more distance with him than I did with any, any other coach so far. So thank you, Johnny, and lesson learned. Follow the people that have done what you want to do. One business thing that I learned this year um, is basically how important it is to remember everything that you've done. Because I know that uh, looking back, even just thinking about this year, I'm like, wow, we did this, 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 and this. And um, if, when you forget that, it, it can kind of be like, well, am I doing anything? Am I progressing at all? Um, so it's important to just remember to keep you as a business owner motivated, um, like where you came from and uh, where you are now.